Have you heard of Loctite Primer? Will it increase the adhesive strength of Red Loctite 271 on plain steel, zinc plated, and stainless steel 38 by 60 nuts and bolts? Let's experiment. Let's first set up a plain steel test assembly. Shake the bottle before applying two drops of Loctite Red. Next, zinc plated. Then stainless steel. Three sets of five were assembled. Now let's prime these nuts and bolts with Loctite's SF7649 activator and primer. The activator and primer shortens the cure time of Loctite's anaerobic adhesives and is recommended for use with passive metals and or in cold conditions. Will it increase the adhesive strength too? Steel is an active metal, but let's test it anyway. Zinc and stainless steel are listed as passive metals in Loctite's thread locker manual. The primed or activated fasteners can be used as soon as they are dry. The prime part should be bonded within 30 days. I waited an hour before applying the red thread locker. All the assemblies were cured for 6 days because I had my priorities and ran away to Las Vegas for 5 nights. And before we get to the results, anyone wanting to comment about needing to torque the nuts and bolts? This is a simple breakaway torque test as is noted in Loctite's thread locker manual. Breakaway torque is the torque required to break the bond between the nut and bolt when rotating an unseated or untorqued assembly. A link to this Loctite video showing the testing procedure with much more sophisticated equipment is in the description below. Now our results. Plain steel first. A breakaway torque of 27.7 foot-pounds. 23.5 Next zinc 14.0 foot pounds 14.9 Finally stainless steel 13.1 foot pounds 20.7, Inserting the results into a table, removing the high and low values of each, and we come up with the following averages. Plain steel, 23.2, zinc plating, 14.4, stainless steel, 16.7. Now our results with the activated and primed assemblies. Plain steel, a breakaway torque of 17.0 foot-pounds, 18.4, 25.2, Next zinc, 23.7 foot-pounds, 8.2, 22.0, 20.9, 24.0. Finally, stainless steel, 20.9 foot pounds, 0 0.0, 13.6, 17 17.5, 17.6. Inserting the results into a table, removing the high and low values of each, and we come up with the following averages. Plain steel, 18.5 Zinc plating 22.2 Stainless steel 16.2 And comparing the averages with and without primer With a 20% decrease of 4.7 foot pounds It's probably not a good idea to use the primer with plain steel It may be a good choice to use a primer with zinc plating 
with a 54% increase of 7.8 foot-pounds, and neither here nor there with stainless steel.